So I'm uh, Philip Rode, I'm the Executive Director of LSE Cities, a research centre at the London School of Economics dedicated to the research of urbanisation and the change of cities globally. Planning has an enormous responsibility and opportunity to target um, sort of advantages for the least well-off. And this basically uh, relates to two main areas. One is about locational questions, how you distribute populations across a metropolitan region matters enormously to their well-being and the more you can secure a certain degree of social mix, the more you uh, enable uh, populations that are least well-off to take advantage of the public amenities of those that are richer. And then on the other hand, this big second area is the infrastructures, the public infrastructures that can be provided, which can indeed mitigate um, big differences in income, in wealth uh, and in broader social equity. So investing in areas that are least well off, putting the public infrastructures, starting from schools to uh, all sorts of uh, social amenities, but also into transport, uh, very central to access job markets and to ensure that there is a broader um, uh, opportunity for improving livelihood conditions. So these are all classic jobs of planners and at the same time directly impact on uh, social conditions, social equity and the urban poor. So with regards to those um, negatives of a top-down approach, I would always refer to trade-off where the top-down has certain advantages and certain disadvantages and the bottom-up uh, also comes with certain advantages and disadvantages. Uh, sort of the classic uh, way of approaching it, this is that uh, top-down uh, does have less knowledge and information on specific local conditions, uh, but on the other hand has the resources, the capacity to deliver also in the short term considerable change. Uh, the local bottom-up perspective is uh, very fine-tuned with regards to the specific opportunity, the specific local needs, but often fails to understand a broader strategic question of how local communities and their well-being is connected to maybe a city metropolitan wide agenda. Uh, and then often they also lack uh, the, the capacity to deliver in particular sort of broader, larger strategic infrastructures that benefit directly uh, these local situations.